Good morning. It is now a Monday, the 24th of January. We're almost at the end of January already. This is crazy. So Jennifer is sitting watching TV. Paul's upstairs in my room because he's on a training course. Uh, so I'm sitting at his desk for a bit until he comes back down. Good milk. You right? So I'm currently editing together last week's weekly vlog because I didn't do it yesterday, do it. I usually do it on a Sunday. I'm not sure I ended it. Um, I'm working. Good news is tomorrow she can go back to nursery. So <sighs> it's a relief, it's very hard to do anything and it wears me out. It also means I can get back to eBay, which is great. Um, again, I will just probably just uh, sort some stuff out, photograph it and try and get some drafts up and listed is what I want to do. I mean, this is just extra money that I'm saving in a savings account. I pay any tax that I need to pay on it if it, if it goes over a thousand. If it's under a thousand, I don't need to. Um, and then if I... It'll just sit there in a savings account. It doesn't get touched. It only gets touched if I um, buy stock, buy postage, buy packaging. That's it, that's all I use it for. So I think this week there's an auction. There wasn't anything much. There was some stuff in last week's time of the auction, but it wasn't worth worrying about. So I'll have a look for this one this weekend, see if there's anything in it. Um, I've got a bag full of cameras and stuff upstairs. I'm gonna try and get through some of that because I'm trying to get the stuff off the floor. I could try and empty the box of clothing and I will be doing some of that soon. That reminds me, there is something I need to do with that as well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm going to crack on with the emails I'm doing um, and we'll catch up, we'll do a reading catch up later, so I'll see you after I finish work. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday, I'm back to my normal setting, it's the 25th today. Um, I do apologise, I didn't vlog yesterday, I completely forgot about it, I left my camera over on Paul's desk. Um, However, Jennifer is now back in there, she's today. I believe the school's reopening tomorrow, so she'll be at school as well, tomorrow. But that just means she's in all day, today till three. I'm working till one. This means I can now get some eBay done today as well. I wanna get some drafts up, some, some listings up. I'm gonna get some photos done. Even if I don't get photos done today, I've got a bag of stuff to go through. I'll get five listed, five drafted, or you know as many drafts as I can. I just sit on the sofa and watch telly and do that. Uh, and sort out some stuff in there for photographing as many items as I can. So, and then I can just do a ton of them in one go. So, I got this yesterday. This is a reading one disc of a film called Pigskin Parade. It uh, features Betty Grable, though she's not on the cover, amazingly. She's third build, actually, which is not on the cover. But um, Judy Garland is. It was Judy Garland's major, first major film, feature film. She sings some stonking songs in here, absolutely brilliant, so yeah, so I've got that one. I've got another very great film coming in which she is the lead. So yeah, um, there's some special features which is looking forward, like making the team, the talent Pigskin Parade, remembering Judy, Lorna Luft on Judy Garland, a restoration, still galleries, and a featurette on Daryl F. Zanuck, who was head of 20th Century Fox Studios. So I will watch this uh, next time I watch a film up here when Paul's out, potentially. I've got a few to watch, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to crack on, get myself logged in and sorted, and I'll see you soon. Okay, so I've finished work now. I'm going to have a sandwich, a beef sandwich, mayonnaise for lunch. And then I'm going to uh, get a big bag of eBay stuff up, cameras off, try and go through some of them, get some of them ready to, to list. And then I'll try and do some drafts a bit later. I've left the book downstairs, so I can get it in a minute. We'll have my lunch first. So anything I get listed, I'll start listening, I'll show you. I bet our breath run up and down I was just tired, very tired because I didn't sleep very well. So the idea is to try and get some of the cameras out of the bag, checked and ready to be photographed so that they can be listed and go up in the shed out the way. So it clears me up a bit more space in this room because I'm slowly, slowly getting there with clearing space. But until I've got that bag out of the way, it's a great big hunk of stuff in the room. I've got a chest full of clothes that need to be listed as well that I need to photograph. But I want to get that bag out of the way first. Once that chest of drawers, that chest is empty, I'll be putting my colouring supplies in there. And then I'll have two boxes under the bed. Because I'll be buying clothes then myself at, uh, as and when I need them, at uh, charity shops or buying in bulk online from various people and I'll have enough space to put it under there while I work it 
and get rid of it rather than have it in a great big chest which I'm not using it's, it's just a waste of space really and I don't go in there enough to do it but it'd be perfect for putting pencils in and stuff because this it's just everywhere so I'm gonna get that all sorted out um so I'll see you um after I've had some lunch and show you what I'm working on it's Tuesday evening I just had tea we had a curry from some curry house we haven't bought before very nice I remember it Spicy aroma in Rogerston, I think. Very nice. I've just come up to get Jennifer some pajamas because she's going to bed in a minute. I'm tired. Oh, um, I'm going to sit downstairs with Paul uh, and read for a bit, listen to some music, I think. Um, I've got two episodes of Call the Midwife to go. I haven't watched yet, but I can watch them anytime. Finally, I managed to pull down this book from the shelf. I had a tower collapse on me almost, well, to be fair, only one book fell on me, and that was uh, uh, George R. R. Martin's A Feast for Crows Part 2, because I've got the sec the ones that were in two sections. Um, yeah, so there's that. So I managed to get that down, so at least it's one off of the huge pile. Some of the others that I pulled down at the same time I've actually just stacked on the shelf in front of the Marin books and there books are there's a Karen Slaughter one there we love Karen Slaughter so I might read that as well next <sighs> there's too many books not enough time in the day so I'm going to try and finish my Marilyn book I'm going to try and finish my Kindle the film's Betty Grable I will probably finish that either tonight or tomorrow um, it's one of those books you dip into because you, you're reading about films so I'm going to get Jennifer ready for bed like I said, see if Paul wants to listen to some music. And then I'm going to read. I feel like reading. And I might do a bit of colouring as well. So you never know, we'll see. Okay, so I'm sitting in bed. I'm just updating my reading journal, which I will show you at the end of the month, which will be Monday. Um, Monday night, it'll be in that vlog. Um, so I've just updated that. I just need to get the picture for the book I finished, which is, of course, this. My Sister Marilyn. This is a reread. It's the first reread of the year. Now, I will be doing a reading wrap-up and a book haul, because I've bought eight books, or I've obtained eight books this year, so far, this month. So I will be doing a book haul, and I will be doing a, um, a reading wrap-up, as well as my normal colouring ones. I have a book haul there, a uh, book and supplies haul, and obviously I'm still colouring because well, we've still got another week to go. So, tons I'm going to be colouring over the next week, and I'm really enjoying myself. Um, this film arrived today. It's Betty Grable, that lady in Irving. It is in colour. The pictures on the back are in black and white, but it is in colour. I love this film. I really do. And um, if you're a Marilyn fan and you've seen, interestingly, How to Marry a Millionaire, the piano that they use in How to Marry a Millionaire is in this film as well. So I'm going to actually take some pictures of it and pop it on the Marilyn group. Thing. So yes, very happy to finish rereading this. It's a very sweet book, but I will talk more about it in my reading wrap-up. Yay! And that's one thing, because I'm keeping it in here, I can tell you what the books are like. I can tell you what I thought about the books and I can tell you how many stars I gave each one because I'm putting these tiny little gold stars in. I'm not colouring them in like most people, I'm too lazy. I'm using gold stickers. They're also great to have for, for Jennifer. This was a packet of a thousand from, animals, uh, from Amazon for about three quid. Something like that. Very cheap. So I'm really happy. So, oh, I've got this little bookmark here. Little metal bookmark, which I will put in Eeny Meeny. It's got uh, a moon on it. It says if. <laughs> I need to sort out my bookmarks, find somewhere to keep them. Probably keep them in one of my tins of um, some pencils. Hmm. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Um, I've just got a few bits to do. Go to the loo and I'm going to switch my light off and snuggle down in bed. So I've got to clear this off. I do want to, I said I've started reading this and I'm, I'm well into this already. It's really good. So I can't wait to crack on with that. Um, and I have started, and of course, I am now on the fame 
famous films of Betty Grable. So the one she made as a stuff fox. So we're over halfway through this book. So I'm going to read a few more of those tonight before I go to sleep because I want to crack on with that. I probably need to charge this up soon. This is going to be dying. This is my obviously my Kindle, um, which has got a book on it. I think the screen needs cleaning out some wipes on it. Um, some glass wipes. It's got some in the, in the drawer somewhere. I'm just trying to think. Yeah. So I still got to finish that one and oh, so much to do really. But that's that's fine for tomorrow. I can do that for tomorrow. I've had a sale today of a camera, so I'll be boxing that tomorrow. It's all go. I'm really happy. I'm quite fine. So I, I'll see you in a little bit when I'm snuggling in bed and let you know how I'm getting on with whatever I'm doing then. Okay guys, I just made a quick TikTok. I'm snuggled down in bed. Cat's downstairs, she didn't want to come up, which is fine. I'm going to read uh, for half an hour before I head off going to sleep. And I'm just going to write my diary because so far this year, I've written in my 2022 diary every single day. So it's an A4 um, executive diary. So, and I used to be very very religious at keeping it i was really good and as years went on it, it got to the point where i wouldn't I'd, I'd write a day and then i'd leave it for weeks and weeks and then write three or four days and leave it for a month this year i've made in an effort to try and write something every day even if i don't write it on on that day i go back and do it the next day which is fine um it doesn't have to be long just a few notes on the day the news if there's anything interesting any famous deaths um what i'm reading um how jennifer's doing i put a picture of her in there that i printed up off my um instax printer so i take a photograph on my phone and then i can print it up it's really nice it's a really good thing this printer i, I did it because i didn't want an instax because you could take loads of photographs and not get a decent one this way i can take hundreds on my phone and just print up what i want it's brilliant i love it so there's going to be a few of those uh, coming up and i use them in my diary and in jennifer's scrapbook mostly so i've got another 10 pack of film of, of photos um i've only used five i think yeah five from the first pack when i get paid next week i should probably buy another another two, two pack of 20 and then when it gets down to oh, i've just got 10 um i'll get another pack and the reason i'm gonna get next week is next week we've got jennifer's birthday on the 31st she's going to birthday party on the 12th and a birthday party on the 19th so it's gonna be a very busy month for little jennifer she's so popular luckily they're all on saturdays which is great um yeah one's literally just down the road at their house and the other one's up, up the road at uh, fusion dance studio so i'm gonna call it a night i'll talk to you tomorrow uh when i get up i'll see you soon bye bye good morning it's wednesday and i am just getting set up to start work jennifer has gone to nursery she didn't want to go just a minute Um, yeah, she kicked off big time, which makes me feel like shit, but that's just the way it is as kids for you. Because I feel like I'm not a very good mum, because she kicks off, cries, wants to stay at home. But it's better for her to be around kids her own age, learning and playing and, and than sitting watching TV, which is what she would do if she was staying home. So I'm not having it, so, hmm. But it don't make me feel any better. I'm going to be thinking about her all day now and it's ruined, going to ruin my morning. I'm going to try not let it. I'm actually hot so I've got the fan on. I know it's February and it, oh, February, still January and it's cold but I am, I always get a bit hot and bothered especially when she's like that so I'm just going to cool off, get it set up for work and crack on with the day, get it done, go and pick her up, have some lunch and cuddle down on the sofa and read the book I'm reading which is Eeny Meeny now. I, I, so far I'm enjoying it, it's really good. I'll see you in a little while. So I've just finished work. The cat is asleep. Well, she's not asleep, but she's sitting on my bed, as you can see. So you see a little patch where they shaved her. Poor thing. Um, and I'm going to go and get Jen. I'm going to have some lunch, and then I'm going to read my book. I'm reading Eeny Meeny now, which is great. I do have to get some book covers done, because I have... I finished Marilyn sister one my sister Marion but I haven't got the picture printed up so I need to print that up 
it's ready to go i just can't get to the printer yet and i also need the publisher of the films betty grable so i'll grab that book i'll probably do that tonight when i uh, when i do everything else so next one eeny meeny i'm working on it i'm loving the way that my my journal is looking i'm keeping it up to date i'm doing it daily. i know people do it monthly but i read so much if i did it monthly it would take me a days to do it so i've only got something like a page or less than a page now to get the pictures from which is great what i will probably do then is once i've got them all it's fine i just a matter of uh, getting them all printed up and that'll be fine it's just after that i'm gonna have to see what's next because i'll need to get some more books to print them up but that's not going to be for a while i love books i can always leave um the gap where the picture goes if i haven't printed it up in time and i can print it up later but i do like the way it looks so i'm really enjoying doing this i must admit i I'm glad I've done it this year. I do have to fill in uh, book number nine because I've read nine now, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I'm on nine. Nine for 2020 out of 200. Only another 191 to go. But I'm sure I'll do it. I'll see you in a bit. Again, nothing to report. Jennifer kicked off before going to bed. She was so tired. She was eating some soup and she finished that and then... She was saying before she had that, that she wanted to go to bed, that she was really tired. And as soon as she finished eating, she was like, I don't want to go to bed, I want to stay down here with you, I want you, mummy. It's like crying. Yeah, she was so overtired and worked up. Managed to get hit to bed eventually, which is great. Poor thing. Um, so, she's asleep now. I had to go and cover her up because she fell asleep with the blankets not over and it's going to be cold. It's not that cold, but it will be cold. I don't want to wake it up. I am now reading Eeny Meeny by MJ Arledge. I am about halfway through already. I only started it briefly last night. It's really, really good. Really enjoying it. I can't believe it's been sitting on top of my a book TBR of 200 books for around two to three years and I haven't read it. What's that about, Anne? Now, come on, get yourself together. Get your shit together. And read these books because this is i'm really enjoying this one so i'm going to try and read a bit more tonight um what else is happening i've finished a few coloring pages i just go excuse me sort out i might do a tiktok i might not i might do it tomorrow i know you have to do them every day to get anywhere near the followers you want but i gotta be honest i haven't got the energy i do it when i feel like it and that's fine i probably do them tomorrow Anyway, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm so tired. I might do a bit of colouring. I might. I'll see you later. Bye. Morning, it's Thursday. Um, I don't know what day it is. I'm past caring. Jennifer's in a state again this morning. Didn't want to get up. Didn't want to go. She's kicking and screaming and I hate it. It makes me feel so fucking useless. It puts a downer on the entire day. I feel like shit now. I just want to go crawl back into bed and, and go to sleep. And I can't because I've got to work. I'm really not in the mood. I just feel like bursting into tears. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just getting ready to start work. Um, plans for today. I got an eBay order to pack and drop to the post office, which, which is fine. I'll, I'll do my computer's updating, which I'll, I'll do once I finish at one o'clock. And then um, I caught past four, got to take the cat to the vet because nobody else is going to fucking do it. I've got to crack on. I'll, I'll see you after. I'll see if I can be bothered to vlog today. But the way I'm feeling, I'm thinking of jacking everything in at the moment. She's sitting on my flipping chair where I work. He's a little shaved bit and a little wound. Going to the vets this afternoon to get that sorted. Finish off with those beautiful eyes. Finished work. I'm off to go and get Jan. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. I seriously thought about scrapping this vlog because I've hardly done anything this week, but I thought I'd just carry on. Because, you know, something might happen. <laughs> I was fine yesterday afterwards, uh, so don't worry. Everything's cool. Um, it was just a weird day. Like Jennifer kicking off. I just felt 
but she was fine in the afternoon. She didn't want to go to bed, but she did go to bed a lot easier last night. And this morning she was fine going to nursery, though she did wake up uh, in the night and threw up. I didn't hear anything, but apparently she was shouting. I didn't hear it. I was I, I got up and went downstairs to go to the loo, and apparently I, I Paul was getting up at the same time because she was shouting, but I couldn't hear it. That's really weird because I don't know. Anyway, she threw up. Paul changed the bed, and I've got to wash it all today, which is fine. I'll do it next time I go downstairs. And um, change the bed in and I comforted her and changed her pyjamas and everything and she's, she's fine. She's fine. She's coughed so hard she made herself sick. I've done it. Last night I finished reading Eeny Meeny and my other view. That was a disturbing book. Good though. Recommend it. And I've started reading this. I needed something light hearted. And one of my comfort books. I, I say comfort book. is a comfort series. A Discworld series. Um, all 40 odd books. I don't know how many there are now. Bless him. Sir Terry Pratchett's wonderful creation bless him I still miss him every day because I miss his wit and his cleverness and yeah but we still have his wonderful legacy of books so I'm I'm slowly rereading them I'm not going to rush it I am listening to Hogfather as well but now I've got to get ready for work um this afternoon's plan oh Zed's fine yeah no problem with Zed he's got to go back next week for a well she has an injection which is fine but other than that, she's totally fine. Uh, the only other bad thing that's happened is they're closing the bottom of the hill where we live. So you come out, you turn right to go into Risca. There's a, a, a junction. They're closing that junction for 10 weeks, which means we've got to go all around the houses to get off the estate, which is a flipping nightmare, but hey. And that's from Monday, so that's going to be a pain. Uh, but other than that, everything's fine this morning. I'm just really tired from being... Up with JAA. She was up for about 40 minutes, so it was about 20 to 1 when she got up, and it was 20 past when she went back to bed properly, because she just wanted to cuddle, and that's totally understandable, I totally understand that, and I don't begrudge her that one single bit. So, I'm going to be reading this this weekend, well, probably tonight, I probably, it won't take me long. I need a book for the hairdressers, I haven't decided what one yet. I might take Verity by Colleen Hoover, and just start that, just a new book. You know, just a book to read while I, I like to, I don't read the magazines. I'm not into celebrity gossip and all that rubbish. I'd rather read a book. So I always take a book with me, either a Kindle or my phone. Um, but I think I will take Verity by Colleen Hoover and read that one. So, yeah. Hair tomorrow. It might not take as long. I might not need it. So we'll just have to see what happens. I'm not sure what he's doing tomorrow. He did say something just about a cut. So it'll be a wash and blow dry. Cut, wash and blow dry wash cut and blow dry I don't know and we'll find out tomorrow anyway I better get on otherwise I'll be late I'll see you in a bit Friday night and again I haven't done any vlogging there's just nothing happening at the moment it's pretty dull I've done a bit of colouring in this book this afternoon this evening not a lot I love this book I mean, I've done quite a few in this one it's one of the ones I've done a few in which yeah, I've done not a hundred not loads it's, I think it's 30 or so one two oh God, three Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm on number nine. Well, for me, that's quite good in one book because there are a few books like that. I do want to colour in this beautiful patterns by Jade Summer. Again, I think there's how many is in here? 25, 50? Probably 50. And I love this book. And I've done one, two, three, four. Five, six, that's a nice one, seven, eight, Ooh, I have nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I've done thirteen, so yeah, I mean for me that's really good. I think it's just everybody's doing their ten books to finish in 2022, but for me it's ten books I want to finish in 2022. 2022 but I probably won't because I've got so many books um I'm currently I'm not going to do any whips tonight I'm slowly working through my pile of whips my Christmas ones first just to get them done I'm going to be continuing that into February I have a specific time of day for doing whips and um, it's just like half an hour every day to do a little bit on one of my whips um and I've got a huge stack of them so I do want to crack on with them so uh, I've got a pile of books with whips on them um 
next on top of actually the new books I've got so I'll be moving that when I fill my haul and um, something like that anyway I don't really know anymore I've got a load of PDFs that needs to go into folders and I want to colour in some more of those PDFs so just because they're not in a folder it's very hard for me I have started labelling the folders with the individual titles which will make life easier for me so I'm going to start this pattern one uh, but I do want to read a bit more of Equal Rights so tomorrow I'm obviously having a haircut I'm going to take Verity by Colleen Hoover as long as I remember if not I'll be reading the book I've got on my phone but that's usually if he dyes my hair now I don't know if he's dyeing my hair he said something about just have, having it cut next time so I might not even be in there that long which would be great and it wouldn't cost as much because it's bloody expensive um, so yeah I'm actually going to get up the Ohuhu brush markers for the pattern I don't need to put the paper in it and this would be one of the books I would want to finish so would Rose Windows by Creative Haven I bought some watercolours today from Lidl's, it's their Creelando range and it's a um, 36 watercolours palette set. They're only tiny little ones, they're not very big. I might get, if, if I like them, I might get another set someday, so I'm going to try them tomorrow. Um, and usually when I'm watercolouring, I use the Colour in Heaven Sarah Kay book, so I will be using that. So that's good, because I love that book. All the pictures I've done in that have been watercoloured so far, so I do like that book. I don't think I'll ever finish it. Um, I'm to be honest, I don't think I'll ever finish any of the books I've got, but I do need to because I'm running out of shelf space. So I might try and prioritise one or two of them to try and get them done. So for instance, my Jade Summer shelf is full, almost. If I was to colour in every Jade Summer book I've got, because I've got quite a few I haven't coloured in, um, I'd have no room on the shelf at all. So I you know, I might try and finish some of these colour by numbers. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it really. I don't know about the others. I'd have to have a look. Uh, like I said, the rose rose window one I could do potentially. I don't know. I love the colouring. I love collecting the books, but I am running out of space. That's why I need to get my eBay stuff out of here so I can move some stuff around and get on with it slightly. But um, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. Like I said, I'm going to colour for a bit. I'm going to read. I'm going to write my diary. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow Saturday. I, I do love having my hair done as well. You know, I can't wait for tomorrow. It's my relaxation. Even if he just washes, cuts and blow dries my hair and it takes an hour and a half, probably less than that, I will be happy because it's an hour of peace. I can actually read my book while he's cutting my hair, to be honest. I'm pretty good. I do need to bring steps up so I can get one of my Jack the Ripper books down because I want to read the Tom Cullen one. It's a short one. It's at the top. It'll just get one off the shelf, another book off the shelf. At least I got a book off the shelf this month because I've read Eeny Meeny. A load of other ones fell down as well, but hey. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's good. So there are more on there that I want though. So oh, so many books, so little time. So I'm going to stop waffling so I can actually go and read something. I'll see you later. Bye. Hey everybody, it is Saturday. I've had my hair cut. No colour this time, so it only took an hour instead of the usual three hours or more. So that was nice. Have it cut again in seven weeks, and that'll be just cut again, and then it'll be coloured in the one after. So, save me a little bit of money, which is good. Got some um, clip hands, saw them on Chelsea's channel. I'm sure it's Chelsea's channel. Um, I'm gonna try them out in a minute, see what they like. If they're good, I'll order another two packs one for me, one for Jen. She can have some too. She's been a bit poorly, she was sick again last night. Um, she's not eating very much, so she wants some McDonald's. So, I'm not sure about that, but we've ordered one anyway, and we'll see how it goes. But I am gonna go downstairs. I oh, I'm still reading this. I started reading it last night, and then she was sick, so I sort of stopped. And I was the, Bookmarks upside down, but that don't matter. And then this morning I started reading Verity to take to the hairdressers just in case I needed it. I didn't, and that's fine. I have got a stinking sinus headache, so I'm going to take some Sudafed with my lunch. And I've got to come here and have a tidy up, sort some washing out. So we'll have to see how it goes. So I'll be eating again. Nothing much. It's been a week of nothing, really, hasn't it? It's been pointless filming. I've been using these only a little bit. They're so sparkly. Look. I don't think you can see it, but you might see a bit. Yeah, very sparkly. I like them. Um, the cat bit my nose. Luckily, she didn't break the skin. That's why my eyes look a bit funny. <laughs> anyway, 
So, right, I'm going to wait for you to sleep. So I'm going to go to bed. I might read for a bit, watch a bit of TikTok, and I'm going to sleep. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll put this up. Just sometimes nothing happens. Hi guys, it's Sunday afternoon. We've done the shopping. Jennifer actually came with us. She's fine. She's feeling a lot better. And she was pretty good around the shop. She did have a bit of a moan. Um, just trying to get everything ready. I'm going to be sorting out the washing in a minute. I did finish Verity um, and I really did enjoy that. It was a good book. Um, I might try another one of Colleen Hoover's to see what I think, but I enjoyed that one. It was quite dark. I'm still reading uh, Equal Rights. I'm almost halfway through. I'll probably finish that today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get ready for my book haul and colouring book and supplies haul. I probably filmed those two tonight and the colouring chat because I want to get some videos in the bag and then tomorrow night I will film my colouring completed pages for January and my reading wrap up for the month. Anything else if I finish I think it's just tough it'll go into February's list. Um, I will also tomorrow because it's the last day when I'm doing all this um, on the vlog I will show you an update of my um, reading journal and how it's looking because I've got a few things to print off today. I've got another colouring book from Ava Brown and I need some more book covers. I need one for what's it called? I can't think what it's called. The cat's trapped somewhere. I can hear her crying. She wants to come in but she can't because I'm going to do the washing. What's the book called that I haven't got one for? Well I need to do one for equal rights and I'm going to have to have a look. It's very dark on here for some reason. Hang on. All right, so it's probably because the light's behind me. This one I've not got one for. It's my sister Marilyn. So I haven't updo updated it. I haven't printed that one out yet. No. It's ready to go, but I haven't printed it. Eeny meeny, I've got to glue in. I can do that now. And I've got to do Verity, which I can do now. But I'm going to do the washing first, then I'm going to come back and do that. I do love the way that this is looking. I think I've got eight books, was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new books to me. Uh, my mum and my dad went to the charity shop and bought six yesterday. Out of those six, I'll have five next month, probably. One of them I've read, so I don't need it. And that's Dan Brown, Angels and Demons. Um... And probably when I finish this, I will probably start reading The Stand because it is a big one. Um, but I still have one on my Kindle, which is the book I need to review, and one on my phone, which I'm really struggling to get into. And I'm, and though I enjoyed the first book, seriously considering DNF and it maybe starting it again later, because I'm just not enjoying it. Yeah, I've got to find my Kindle. To be fair, I can read that one on my phone under the ga Net Galley app because I've got that as well. So I'll be interested now to fill in the next few pages. I do love it when I get to colour them in like that. These are the ones that are on my uh, big TBR. It says 197. There's actually more than 200 because there is a big series up there that I have. I didn't list. I just stacked it up and I'm going to pull the first book down which is actually book two but it's fine. You don't need book one. I'll start with book two and if I enjoy that then that's fine. I'll, I'll start reading them. If I don't I'll give it to my mum and see if she enjoys it and then if she enjoys it she can have more. <laughs> just then it gets rid of a huge stack off of my shelf. I also want to get a Jack the Ripper book down because I want to read one of those. So I need the steps, so I need to tidy up a bit to do that. So I'm going to now crack on as much as I'd love to sit here and, and ramble and look at my book journal, which I'm really loving doing. It's a bit behind because like I didn't put Verity in. I didn't write my diary last night or anything, so I'm going to do all that in a bit. But uh, I'm going to do all that soon. But I do love the way it looks, and you'll be seeing that properly later. So yay! I might even do a TikTok for it as well. I've still got a couple of pages to decorate in here, so I might bring all the stuff up later and do that. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye. Jennifer's come to help with the washing. Well, she's come come up, so she's lovely. Here you are, Jen. Can you see yourself? I actually do have wave. I love you. But yeah, don't mess up my socks. I'm trying to sort them out.